it's Sandra, Louise, Catherine, Tonti. Now, I was born in East Liverpool, Ohio, before the Second World War, February the 23rd, 1935. I grew up in a little town called Midland. Well, Pop was born in Ot 3, and Mom was born in uh, 1910. The families had uh, migrated from Italy here, and um, my mom, Antoinette, she came through Ellis Island. Someone met them there and then took them to Grandpa, who was working in Pennsylvania, and, um, and that's how it all got started. And they met right before the crash in 29 and married. Mom was crazy about Dad. And, and I got an early case of uh, arthritis. And uh, the doctors told mom and dad, get out of here. I'll go to a warmer climate or I won't, uh, you know, make it. So we went to California. And that's where I finished high school at Inglewood, California. And uh, Daddy held uh, the family business down until the young boys got back from war. When did I marry? I married in 1957. Uh, then, of course, I had kids, five of them. I had three girls and two boys. I loved taking the, the kids uh, in the wagon. I had a little red wagon that I put the kids in, in the the boys, well, the girls went to school and uh, right up the street and the boys uh, I would put in the wagon and and uh, take them up to the school and go around the parking lot and all that. Our lives always centered around a school somewhere. I did though, however, start a life down in Thousand Oaks, California, where I raised the kids. And, um, but then all the kids one by one, starting with your mother, uh, moved up to a place called Fresno, California. Oi, you know, Fresno. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> and, well, it, it looked like in those days, uh, it, it looked like just vast fields of nothing. And, um, but it was, it was, it was nice. And it was a lot less congested than it was down south. I uh, moved back east for like 10 years from when I was 70 years old. Then I came back just a few months before I turned 80, which was just last month. And for those 10 years, I got real cold all over again and then came here. Uh, and your mama uh, let me stay here with you all. And um, it's just been wonderful. I'm very lucky, yeah. And um, we'll see. So uh, he came over one Saturday night. I was uh, sitting in the den watching telly alone. And he came over and he started asking me like, oh, uh, well, this is ridiculous. Why don't we get together again and all that? I don't want to get together again. And, and, and he said something, ticked me off. And I went, got my, <laughs> got my pistol, loaded it and came forward and his eyes opened up and he took off out of the front door. And I'm right after him with my, <laughs> with this pistol. And he's, he's going down the street, you know, and he's making a zigzag. And I said, don't zigzag, go straight for God's sake. I've got to shoot you. And I'm, you know, and I've got this, and I'm trying to hold this. And then a truck, a blue pickup truck, comes in between us. And it's Adam. And he jumps out of the truck and he says, Ma, don't shoot him. He, he'll be free and you'll go to jail. And I said, oh, God, what are you going to do? I wanted to kill a guy. And, and they're my son, you know, jumps in between. So that was it pretty much because he knew at that point. Well, I had already tried to stab him once and that, that didn't work either. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I, I took off after him with a knife. <laughs> but he, he, he was a, a, a squidgy little worm, I'll tell you. He got out of everything. So, however, he, he kind of like backed off from harassing me and uh, because uh, at that point, whether I killed him or ended up in jail was becoming mute. I mean, it just, I didn't care. <laughs> but, uh, but then came up here and um, been here ever since. The, that was, yeah, that was a, that was a fun thing. That was a good thing. Yeah, it was a fun thing. Was it a pistol or a shotgun that you were pointing at Grandpa? Oh, uh, it was a pistol. pistol. <laughs> it would have been real difficult for me to run with that shotgun. Ha, 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 ha.